So this is a new AI uh, chat site called Chat GPT, uh, and it's very impressive. I was introduced to this uh, by work colleague. So I'm just going to type in a few things here. So write a poem about Nelson Mandela uh, playing Fortnite, the game Fortnite, set in Norfolk. Okay, so this is not something that is... Um, uh, it would have thought up before and it's just sort of giving something out. It's making this up on the fly. Yeah. So here we are. We have this uh, little poem here about Nelson Mandela playing Fortnite. Um, it's it's utter nonsense, but it's it's quite incredible that it's just making this up. Um, yeah. Uh, so we're going to type, type in a couple of these things here. So another one here is uh, writing a song about Donald Trump and Iron Man on a spaceship to Mars sharing about their love of Starbucks coffee. Um, we'll see what uh, this little um, AI uh, engine can come up with, what song it can produce uh, about, um, about such a... Um, uh, a subject so um, here it here it goes here it goes and um, uh, what's really interesting about this API is if you type in the same thing um, you actually get something completely different as well so it's not the same thing twice you can't just sort of type in the same input and then get the same thing coming out it does do something completely different if you do it again um, and it's uh, and this is the speed at real time. You know, this is real time speed of what happens when you you go and uh, uh, come out. This is this is really an incredible, um, incredible thing that, that we're doing here. Uh, the ne next thing I'm going to do is actually this is my son's homework. He's got to write an essay about the turning point in the movie The Godfather, and uh, to type it in to see what it will come up with. Can it actually do his homework for him? And uh, here we go. And it's thinking about it, thinking about how long. Hopefully my son spends a little bit longer thinking about his homework. But this is um, this is really quite an incredible tool. Uh, this is quite an incredible thing. I believe it's uh, it says only free at the moment. It may uh, just in sort of like a beta um, uh, stage. Um, and it's learning. It's just learning all the time. Um, and here we are. It just goes on, and it just uh, just gives you this this essay um, about uh, about the Godfather and a, you know the turning points in the Godfather. Uh, and you know it's not just limited to English. It will do it in any other language. We've tried Spanish and uh, Scottish Gaelic, uh, Irish Gaelic, and uh, it's it is quite it is quite incredible. Um, and it's it's meaningful, you know. You read this, and it reads like um, proper English, and uh, yeah, it's it's really quite incredible um, what uh, what comes comes out of this. And uh, um, yeah, uh, so here's White, an essay about grief, um, as shown in the movie Up. Uh, and if you ever seen the movie Up, uh, it's a it's an incredible film, um, and it's about this um, this couple who are together, and the wife dies, and this uh, this guy is, uh, becomes a widower, and it's it's basically his his story, and it's uh, grief is a big big theme in the grief, and uh, we'll, we see what this API comes up with, and um, uh, here here it is this uh, this tool it, it discusses grief in this in this thing where does it get the information from I don't know but um, yeah it is it is definitely it's not just uh, combining a load of uh, random things together it is coming up with this I do not know how it's doing it but this is very clever this is scarily clever um, this is uh, this is taking AI I think to a new level a level that I have not seen before. Um, and uh, certainly far too quick for a human to be writing that. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Turing test where you had a bank of computers and uh, it's what Alan Turing came up with. And um, uh, people had to decide whether the person on the other side of the screen was human or computer. And if more people thought, more people got it wrong and they thought it was uh, called a human when it was actually a computer, then the Turing test had been achieved. Um, 
Here we're going to look at its ability to go and write a little story. So write a short story about four teenagers called um, Joe, Joel, Jane and Joyce. All the J's escaping from uh, a volcanic tropical island which is full of flesh-eating teddy teddy bears of course it is of course it is right so an utter nonsense thing and we're going to see what it comes up with um yeah so the turing test the Turing test. i mean for me this is you know this is definitely what i think alan turing had in mind when he was thinking about the turing test i probably i think it goes well beyond it um i, I don't think the turing test is a uh, is a great test of ai now i think it was back when it first came up with um a few decades ago um I think there's other more um, more suitable tests um, for AI, but this is uh, this is fairly phenomenal. Um, and here it is; it's coming out, making up this story, um, and uh, it's uh, I've I've tried a number of different stories. You try trying to make up different stories and things, and you get it to to do songs. You can get it to uh, write ballads. You get it to write poems. Um, uh, also solve solve math problems. Um, it is it is very impressive. Uh, you can pretty much type in most things. Doesn't know too much about events, so you can't just say, oh, uh, you know, um, ask it detailed facts about stats and different things of events. It's not that's not really what it's about. Um, but it does have this uh, this AI here. Um, so I've asked it here to go and write a sermon. So imagine, <laughs> can it preach? Preach from the Bible. So here it is, why a sermon based on Matthew chapter seven in the Bible, and we're going to see what it uh, comes up with. This is uh, uh, something from the words of Jesus, and we'll see whether it can actually decipher and come up with um, uh, with a compelling sermon. And um, here it is, even in this little box here, it actually prints the, uh, the, the bit of scripture it's going to use from Matthew seven. So I'm not using all of Matthew seven, just a little a little snippet of it. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, here it's now. It's, it's talking about. It's now going to sort of trying to take out some meaning from from that scripture, just about judging others and do not judge and um, <clears throat> having compassion and understanding, um, reflecting on ourselves. Um, it's a it's a it's a reasonable attempt at at doing at doing the sermon, and it's doing it in the style of a sermon as well. And you can ask it to do different styles as well. You know, you can ask it to do something in the style of Yoda and different things. Now, this is I'm a software engineer, and this is where the real power of this comes up. So I'm now asking it to come up with a, a Python Python programming language, um, a RESTful. So this is something that uh, could be exposed on the web. Go and um, uh, tell me what the weather is like in Paisley. So again, it's not code that it would have just had around the internet. I'm, I'm putting something very specific in here to say, write something about Paisley. Go and get the weather um, about Paisley. And it has a bit of a think about this. And um, and it's going to come up with, with a solution. And it's it's very impressive. And um, uh, as a software engineer, I, I, uh, I feel this could put me out of job in a few years' time. Because um, you're kind of speaking what you want, and and you get it. Um, so here it goes. It is now programming. I cannot program at this speed of what it's winding out here, and it is. It is very very impressive, and it's uh, there we are. You know, it's got um, it's got the weather Paisley. You know, in the code, it's whiting out to say, yep, get the weather for Paisley, um, and. <clears throat> This um, this is all being produced on the fly, and um, yeah, its answer is exactly what I asked it for. This is not just going and pulling out a uh, a textbook answer that is found somewhere else and just displaying it to me. It is uh, um, it is writing it, and uh, it is it is very impressive. Um, other things I've asked it to go and write um, Sudoku solvers, and it, it does it. And you can just give it a particular programming language, and it will write it in that programming language. So here, I've asked it to go and write a um, a in interview question, uh, a solution for an interview question that, that sometimes gets asked about um, 
come up with a solution to find identical pairs numbers in in a list and i've chosen the computer programming language of python to go and do that um python is one of the languages i use uh, at work so i just thought it would be good to go and see how it gets on um and off it goes and it comes up with uh with the solution and not only does it come up with a solution it also comes up with some some comments in the code and to explain what it's actually doing and also it comes up with some some test cases as well so uh it's more um so here it's printing out some test cases and expect the, the expected value of those test cases and um it is very impressive and now it sort of explains what it's done here and um it is it's very good this is scarily good and there's the output what would what you'd get if you printed that out and i thought okay let's do the same thing and you can actually write context sensitive things here so now i said code the above in c plus plus so i'm using a previous context so i'm not just every request i send to it is not not necessarily uh, atomic in, it, in itself it's um you can be contextual of uh uh, other other things you've asked it so um, it's now going to do exactly the same thing without me having to ask exactly the same question but in a different language I can just say code the above in C++ okay, it's another language I use and it's going to do exactly the same sort of problem solving but now write it in a different language it's now going to write it in C++ different programming language um, so it looks quite different but it's going to solve the same problem and uh, <clears throat> It's uh, it is it is very impressive. Um, it's impressive number of languages. It uh, it will code. I've asked it some fairly obscure languages, like a language called Miranda, which I used uh, many years ago when I was at university and things. And it could program a few things in Miranda. So uh, that was that was very good. And um, not a bit of an obscure one. Uh, I use also work is a language called Tickle, TCL. And I thought, well, let's go and give it a go here. Let's go and see what happened so this is the uh, the last one um is we're going to give it going to ask it to do exactly the same thing but also do it in tickle and see see how it does it um so <clears throat> yep again um <clears throat> why to also in tickle so again i'm not really referring to above here um trying to write it in as natural english as possible so an english per, you know so i'm speaking english without be able to understand it but um but not referring it to the previous answer just trying to get it to suss out that i'm actually referring to the previous answer by using that english so it knew what it would write it also in tickle so it had to figure out what it was and of course it's it knows that it it was the previous answer so um and there it goes. It now writes it in this other language, Tickle. And it's writing again, writing on the fly. And you can ask it to write in particular uh, languages, and you can. Uh, it can be very specific, and um, uh, you can write it, ask it to write test cases for something. Um, so this is very, very impressive. Uh, I'm going to be out of a job one day uh, because of tools like this.